YouTube, we are in the grand finals of Meta Weekly 155. We have never ever skipped a week. The ban list is officially implemented in game. Click on discord.gg, join the discord, accept your invite. And if you are joined on YouTube or Twitch subbed on Twitch, say hello to me on Twitch. Everyone is on Twitch right now. They're all saying hello to you. We got so many viewers right here. You could be one of them to join the fun. Then in the Discord, I want you to click on user settings, go to connections, click on Twitch or YouTube, however you are joined or subbed on Twitch. Then you have access to the Discord. You have access to the Spicy Win Streak channel, which is a spicy, spicy channel. It is a channel with five or more win streaks of decks not on the tier list. So a quick little scroll. We have Thunder Dragons with the verified win streak and the replays to see how the deck works. Okay, I got a new deck to play. YouTube, don't look at this. I'm going to play that on YouTube now. Thank you so much for the video, Degrading Llama. We got it. Questions and help, deck help, and replay help. Also, if you want to play any decks, check them out. We got the new decks. We got top decks like Black Wings, for example. If we were to look in the Discord how active the Black Wing channel is, we have over 128,000 messages. You could click on pin messages of any channel. You could see some great tips from myself and other members. Here's a cheat sheet on how to play level reduction. This is literally cheating if you look at this while dueling. Just saying, so please be careful. Use it responsibly. And also, join all of the events. There goes my voice. We have free, 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 bi-weekly, multiple week, monthly, free entry, $50, $12, I give away over $310 a month in free events. Here are all the events. Let's start the Grand Finals. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at him. Let's go. Let's go. Ryu Zane at the top, Felipe at the bottom. We have Balance vs. Master of Destiny. The first three coin flips will guaranteed be heads. And Balance will guarantee a monster spell and trap in the opening hand. Two skills to make your deck more consistent. We have Valhalla, which will special summon a fairy. That's right, a fairy deck in the top two. Weather Painters are here. Are they top tier? Maybe after this meta weekly, TPC will put them on the tier list. Maybe they'll vote on it. The Thunder will send the Valhalla to the grave to play a canvas on the deck. And the canvas of choice is going to be the Thunder Canvas. And also, we have a Snow Canvas. Very nice. Snow Canvas could banish a Weather Painter to search your deck for a Weather Painter and then performs his normal summon. He's got Cloud on the field. Cloud says if your canvas is sent to the graveyard, you can play your canvas back on the field. So if you want one from the grave, you send one from the field, and you could, boom, play them back on the field. So it's a great way to recycle. If you're confused by Weather Painters at all, I've had this up during the whole tournament, Weather Painters are all about banishing to come back next turn, to do one of three things to return a monster back to the hand to search for a Weather Painter card or reduce to then give that monster an attack direct. But if you reduce your opponent's monsters on your turn, they can't attack directly on your turn, you would just attack over them. So he did perform a search in the end phase and then his monster is coming back. I know it feels like I'm trying to teach you the deck right now, but I wanna make sure you could follow with me. Got triple Weather Painters. All three have the ability to return a monster back to the hand, which is not a once per turn. At the start of the damage set, before even looking at the monster. Back to the hand, opening up the field. Let's go. Takes the 1700. Now that 1700 on the far left has not the ability to search. So if he were to activate a card that would maybe banish it, like a Karma Cut, it would not be able to hop off the field. It has no protection. The canvases only affect the column they are in and adjacent columns. Are you now a Weather Painter Master after all of this teaching? I hope you are. Well, we saw a Banish, now it's coming back after returning a monster. How do you deal with this deck? Are we gonna see a shift of Desperado taking out cards like Karma Cut or Super Team Buddy Force Unite to make room for Cosmic Cyclone if decks like this become more popular? Stay tuned, we'll see. There might be a big shift next week. Blast Spider, maybe we gotta play more Blast Spiders. A lot of Desperados are not playing Blast Spider. Blast Spider has the ability to pop itself in any face-up card in the field. But maybe he did not read because the cloud's gonna replay it. That's another benefit of the Weather Painter deck is people don't like to read your cards. But he's got Fiend Comedian, which will flip a coin, guaranteed be heads. 
banish the canvas from the grave. So maybe he did read, he did know, he is in the grand finals, he knows better. Banish. The cloud is about to replay it from the grave and so many people fall for that. So please forgive me and anyone who thought that that's what was happening right there. We have Machina Fortress discarding itself and another machine to summon itself from the grave. Come forth and summon. Get battling. 2,500 attack. If destroyed by battle, will destroy any other card in the field. If targeted by a monster effect, you can look at your opponent's hand and discard a card, which will not happen. There is no targeting from the Weather Painters. Activating the cloud to reduce a monster on the field by half of its attack. Or actually, no, he's searching. He does not have the reduce. He's got the search on the field. So what are you doing? You only get one search. You cannot banish the other monsters. They're stuck on the fields. Now, if you chain banish for one search, you do get one search, but you get to banish more than one monster. So he does get to redirect the attack, Destiny. redirecting onto that thunder, which is just going to fall to the grave. That's it. If that's a canvas in the bottom left, it's not going to be able to be used on that thunder. Discard to Hollow Life Barrier to negate the damage and the battle destruction. Completely negated. Now the cloud's coming back next turn. We come in back. What did he discard for the Hollow Life Barrier? Discarded a Weather Painter Sun. If this card is in your graveyard, you could send a face up continuous spell to special summon this card in defense. And then you could place a weather spell trap from your hand face up in your back row, but you could just play it. But if it's a trap, it's a good way to play the trap instead of setting it. My monster's effect activates. Activate the thunder, send the snow canvas to play a canvas from the deck. That's gonna trigger the cloud. Cloud could target up to two weather spells slash traps in the graveyard. Play them face up into your back row. So while he used a fiend comedian to banish the thunder canvas, it's back, and the significance is this Thunder Canvas will give the ability for every single monster on the field. Since it's in the middle, all three monsters, more than once per turn, can return any monster on the field back to the hand at the start of the damage step. This is it. Even if that's a Karma Cut, this is lethal. All three monsters can return, opening up the field for the other monsters to attack directly. Return the Machina Fortress, goes in directly, Lethal! No! That's why you need Cosmic Cyclone. The fiendish comedian was kind of like a Cosmic Cyclone, but with the extra steps taken, he had to combo the fiendish comedian, the fiend comedian with the blast spider, just to replicate what a Cosmic Cyclone does, because the cloud replays your canvases from the graveyard. Good job, Felipe. This was a crazy, crazy ban list. So everyone celebrated, that Dark Magician is dead. So what they do, they are playing less of Cosmic Cyclone, but here we are. We have another deck relying on a continuous spell and continuous trap to crush your opponents for taking advantage of the fact that they don't have to play Cosmic for Dark Magician anymore. Well, you best be playing it again. Blast Spider plus a back row. If the Blast Spider is destroyed by battle or card effect, it is a dark machine that may lead into something happening. That's why it is in attack position at 1400 attack and not face down defense. We got the Snow Canvas and the Thunder. That's going to give it the ability to banish and come back next turn to search for a weather card. Any weather card you want. We are searching for. Ooh, what? Ew, why this one? We got the Weather Painter Sun. Sure. Sun don't do much in the hand, but okay, we'll see it next turn. Let's go. Weather Painter come back in the standby phase. I'm counting on you. I special summon come back, come back. So, we have the ability to banish and search. That's it right now. Oh, that is the absolute definitive counter to Weather Painter. If Felipe has no counter to the Chaos Hunter, he's going to lose. Are you kidding me? So that's why I search for the sun, for discard fodder, because the sun summons from the grave. Discard, pop, the Chaos Hunter. Why is this a counter? Because it simply says your opponent cannot banish cards. And the entire deck is banish to do any of these effects. If you can't banish, then your deck does nothing. 
Twin Barrel Dragon could have destroyed a card in the field. He just gave up a destroy a card in the field for that Chaos Hunter. That was devastating. Super Team Buddy Force Unite, you see? He was thinking about summoning the Twin Barrel Dragon during the end phase to pop a card on the field. So now that he discarded it, he's going to resummon it. Make use of a card you discarded. His first three coin flips are guaranteed heads. Now that does come at a cost where you have to play seven different cards that flip a coin. You can't just play the skill with anything and get flipping. So first two, coming up, pop a card, guaranteed. Ryu Zane is incredibly low on resources. No Desperado, no Machina Fortress. It's going through, it's resolving. And another Raigeki break has been popped. Ooh, we got the Blast Spider in D. Twin going in. Felipe is going to protect. Maybe you should have kept the Spider in attack so that you could get this damage in while you could. 3,100 damage. Instead, you have a Blast Spider kind of protected while in defense. Take that 1,700. He adds a Weather Painter Snow from the deck, which on summon will play a canvas from the deck. There's three canvases. Right now, he's got the ability to search. He might grab the one to reduce or to return monsters back to the hand. Do you want to return a twin barrel back to the hand, though? On summon, it will destroy a card in the field. 50% chance as he has one more coin flip left. He grabs the return. So both of his monsters, it is not once per turn. He can return a monster back to the hand. He can return the whole field back. Oh my, oh my. The searcher card is balanced by the fact that you could only search once per turn. But a cool little combo is you get to double banish with it, but you only search once, but it is a good way to get your monster off the field if you need to. Now he's got all three. He could return, search, or reduce a monster by half of its attack, reduce by half, and then that monster can attack directly. Return to Blast Spider back to the hand? Oh my Jesus. Are we also returning? Yeah, we are. Back to the hand. Now, of course, when you banish, you come back. And he is restricted to one normal summon. One normal summon a turn. He's got that 50-50 with the twin barrel on the resummon. He could have drawn into a Chaos Hunter and you just gave him fuel to discard to summon. I can't believe he had double Raigeki break for that Chaos Hunter. If he is to summon another one, that might be it. If he plays another. Because the great thing about Chaos Hunter against this deck is the Weather Painters, when they come back, they are special summoned. So a card like Wind Up Rabbit does not special summon back on the field. It just gets placed back on the field. So the fact that they get special summon, that's the perfect trigger for the Chaos Hunter. Searching with the snow, grabbing a Weather Painter Thunder. My monster's effect activates. Come back, snow. Now is the time. What good is a set monster if we can return it without even flipping it? And if you activate a card like Karma Cut or a Raigeki Break. Oh, no, no, no. We got Zombie World. The entire field and graveyard are now zombies. I really don't think he needs that at all, but okay. And fun fact, the Super Team Buddy Force Unite is not going to be affected whatsoever. It does nothing to it. Because the Super Team Buddy Force Unite will target a monster and will summon a monster based off of the original type. Return the Blast Spider back to the hand, opening him up for a 1700 direct attack, 1500 follow up. Let's go, let's go. Now, what effect does this have, if any? Well, if he just drew into a Blast, I should say a Desperado, and he summons a Blast Spider, and Blast Spider destroys itself to destroy a card in the field, he can't summon Desperado from the hand. Desperado only gets summoned if a Dark Machine is destroyed. So did he rip into a Desperado and is now being hard countered by the Zombie World? Possibly. This is a 50-50. 50-50 chance. So a cool little trick here is with your twin barrel, 
if you target their monster with one of your guaranteed coin flips, you keep your guaranteed coin flip. You don't waste it. So you made them banish and you keep your coin flip. I use my face down card. My Wait, you did it after it resolved. Why? Okay. Sure. If, okay. That will work on the start of the damage step with the... Okay, he's, he's saving it for this. That's what he's doing. Discarding from a China Fortress. We are coming down to a coin flip. Is this true? I, I, I don't think he even needs a coin flip. Right? He returns. He's got 25. How is Ryu Zane top decking a Machina Fortress going to win? I cannot believe this. He is reducing. Head judging. Flip a coin. It's good. Return. But it's okay. He's got Machina Fortress to the face. Lethal. I cannot believe Ryu Zane stole that tool. Felipe was controlling it so well. And when he activated the zombie world, we all thought it was over. He had all three effects. He could return. He could search. He could reduce. But that 50-50, Felipe gave up the duel on a coin flip. Uh, DK, how could you say that? If he had hope, if he had hope, if he chose hope that the coin flip of the twin barrel would not destroy his cloud, he could have kept it on the field and he would not have lost that turn. So because of the 50% chance of being destroyed by the twin barrel, he hopped off the field. He jumped off. Believe in the heart of the coin. And then y'all would be trashing him nonstop if he didn't hop off the fields. Not understanding that that did decide the duel. He's going to draw two. You know it. You know it. In an alternate universe, he did not hop off the field. But the coin flip went through. And you all would go nuts. Why didn't he do it? I can't believe it. Double pot agreed for Ryu Zane with the double cup of ace using up two of his three guaranteed coin flips. We got zombie worlds. We zombie worlded. Field and grave are now zombie. We got the snow canvas. And now the effectiveness of Twin Barrel in this duel is going to be basically the same as when he used it again last duel. On the summon, it's going to be 50%. But will he, he fall for it this time? You could even think maybe it was a mistake for him to even return the machines back to the hand, giving him not only fuel for a Machina Fortress, but the ability to resummon a twin for that 50% chance to destroy. There's so much to, to discuss, but let's focus on this duel. Return that set monster back to the hand as he has the ability to banish, to come back, to search, or return. He returned at the start of the damage step. The start of the damage step is before a monster flips up. Let's go, let's go. The great benefit of the zombie world is if he has a dark machine on the field that is destroyed, it will not summon a Desperado Dragon from the hand. I really don't think it is that great to play as a Weather Painter player against a Desperado player. I'm not sure if it's worth it. And look at that. That's probably would have hap what would have happened game one. Or I should say game two if he would have just let the coin flips go through. That was a 50% chance. The first coin flip was guaranteed and he whiffed the second. He is searching for a twin barrel with the effect of discarding the Desperado with the summon of the Machina Fortress to summon itself by discarding a level 8 machine. Going in on the Snow. Snow has the ability to return the Machina Fortress back to the hand. Back to the hand you go. Now, I know it is scary. You see Yugi. You see an open field. You hesitate for a second. You think, does he play Destiny Draw after dealing 2,000 damage? Does he get to search his deck for anything? No, your mind is playing tricks on you. He's playing, playing balance, so don't worry about that. All damage is free damage. You take that damage, you go in. Snow come back after returning the Machina Fortress for, I wouldn't say free. It costed him 1,700 damage. We got Cloud. Cloud's going to replay any of your canvases that get sent to the graveyard, so now you're protected from destruction. 
not from Cosmic Cyclone, but we know a lot of people are not playing Cosmic for some reason. Maybe it's just new meta confidence that, hey, I don't need Cosmic to win. No, you need Cosmic to win. Grab the Weather Painter Thunder with the effect of the search after dealing a nice little 1500 to the face. So far, it does not look like the zombie world is having any influence on this duel whatsoever. Unless there's a Blast Spider in his hand that he's choosing to not summon. Now, Blast Spider actually, I think, completely gets negated. Not only stops the Desperado, but Blast Spider says that it must destroy a Dark Machine. You target a Dark Machine to destroy a face-up card. That's a 25% chance and he just hit it. 25% chance he could have jumped off the field and he didn't. Oh, no. He thought that he would whiff the coin flip on a 25% chance. He could have saved his monster, but the 25 went through. What a disaster. He shouldn't have jumped on the 50%, but then he actually lost his monster on a 25. Chat saying deserved. Are you out of your mind? China Fortress is back on the field after discarding a Desperado. Get searching. Grabbing a Blowback Dragon. Blowback Dragon, it's a one tribute, but all monsters on the fields become zombie and neither player can tribute monsters except zombie type. Witness what? Wait, what? Come forth! But China Fortress by discarding a Blast Spider, which has become useless thanks to the zombie world. Maybe it is worth it to play. Let's get battling! Oh, no, no, no. He's going in for lethal. We all know that Weather Painter likes to play Hollow Life Barrier. Hollow Life Barrier could protect him. Could Nadia instead? He's going to flip a monster on the field face down. Will that protect him? Yes, it will. He's targeting him with China Fortress. He does have the ability to return a monster on the field back to the hand. He flips down that one to ensure that this attack goes through, forcing him to go through with the attack, but there is a big problem here. By opening up a spot on the field, that leaves him open to a Super Team Buddy Force Unite. Attacks for 1700, we are still in the battle phase. Does he have it? He's checking his hand, checking his graveyard, looking at his calculator, look at, oh, he ends his turn, he don't have it. Snow come back onto the field. By the way, the Zombie World does not affect the Super Team Buddy Force Unite. In attack position, he can attack. If you see a snow come out in attack position, you best be afraid. That means it is on the offense. It's going to be swinging. I'm counting on you. I summon a let's go, let's go. Summons a thunder. My monster's effect activates. He's activating the snow to search. Searching for what? Grabbing a Weather Painter Sun. Hmm. This happened earlier in this match. This card summons from the grave, yet it was added to the hand. Hmm. He does not want to return the twin back to the hand. He is respecting the coin flips. If he returns the twin back to the hand, that's going to be another 25% chance to pop a card in the field. And he already... Lost out on, oh, no, no, no. Not only did he lose out on a 25% chance, now the Chaos Hunter. You see the hand placement? That is newly drawn. Newly drawn Chaos Hunter. The ultimate counter against Weather Painter. Is this it? Hit the field, no banish. You can't Karma Cut. You can't Weather Painter banish. You can't search, you can't return, you can't do anything. I think the only out is going to be a Raigeki, could not, you know, anything that deals with the Chaos Hunter will be an out. Anything, anything. Raigeki break. I don't think Ryu Zane will be playing anything that will protect the Chaos Hunter. He desperately needs to take it out. Successfully doing so, that works out. Not going to allow this attack to go through. Return the twin back to the hand. 
Ryu Zane was this close to winning with the hardest counter to Weather Painter. I could not believe he had a right Geki break for that. Ends his turn. Why would he attack with the Machina Fortress? The ability to return a monster back to the hand is more than twice, once per turn. It's one, two, three, four. It's as many monsters as you have on the field to return back to the hand. So he searches for another snow. Snow, come back. The other snow in the hand, if on summon, if he does summon that, if he does not summon something else, it will activate a canvas from the deck. What was most devastating about this duel was losing his cloud very early to a 25% chance. We are still going to talk about that because that was devastating. Going to play the cloud. He's got the Triforce, the trio. He could banish to return a monster. He could banish to search. He could banish to reduce by half, then attack directly. He's got every single ability. The big three. Oh, no. Again. Lancia says you cannot banish. No banishing for the turn. Before it resolves, he's going to banish, but he can't return back to the hand. That is at the start of the damage step. He cannot do it. He's going to banish some more. More banishing. He's going to banish to search and banish to reduce. He's reducing himself so he can attack directly. Adds a Thunder from the deck to the hand. Both banished monsters will come back. Takes the 850 instead of going for lethal. The Lancia saved him from lethal. He would have lost this turn, hands down. Machina Fortress would have gone back to the hand. Double attack lethal. He's good for a turn. Now, pay attention to his newly drawn card. Did he newly draw into another Chaos Hunter? Is he crazy enough to play more than one Chaos Hunter? This is it. Where is it? No Chaos Hunter as we enter the main phase. Wow, I cannot believe it. This is when you would want to summon Chaos Hunter. Did he misplay? What do you think? Should he have not summoned Chaos Hunter as long as there was a set card in the field? Should he have waited for the triple back row clog? Twin Barrel with the 25% chance. We saw it once. We ain't seeing it again. No, no, no. For double heads, that is... <gasps> Jinzo? How do you not tribute summon for Jinzo? I could not believe it. Well, the cloud would have reduced it. We got double Machina Fortress. Jinzo would have negated the ability to return monsters back to the hand. He did not... He went for a 25% chance instead of summon Jinzo by tributing over Machina Fortress, then summon the other Machina Fortress because he's got double reduce. Now, not all three monsters can reduce a monster on the field. Only the left and the middle can reduce. And only the middle and the right can return a monster back to the hand. And he also can't tribute because of Jinzo with the Zombie World. Zombie World says neither player can tribute summon except for zombie monsters. Jinzo is not a zombie in the hand. He could not tribute summon. Takes 850 to the face. Reduce the thunder by half of its attack. Zombie World countering a Jinzo, which was supposed to be in the side deck. Side deck to counter the side deck. I cannot believe it. What? Destiny has changed. Zombie World. I was hating on the Zombie World. Felipe is your grand champion of the Meta Weekly. Good job. Congratulations. Zombie World stopped the Jinzo. Zombie World stopped the Blast Spider. Zombie World did not really stop Desperado from the hand, but I guess Blast Spider and Jinzo maybe is enough. There are some Desperado players not playing Jinzo in the side. They're not playing Blast Spider. So was it just random good luck for Felipe to have a Zombie World to coincidentally just stop the Jinzo summon, which could not be tribute summoned for? Wow, did that pay off. Boom. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How nice to see you. Welcome back to the meta. Boom. Best performing deck. TPC, we got to have a talk now. Now I think we got to think this is tier one. Yeah? It was really close. The TPC was going back and forth. There was fire being thrown. It was so, so close. It was like literally 50-50 
on whether Invoked Neo should be tier one or tier two, but did not get enough for that tier one vote. But maybe they'll be convinced now, possibly. So second place is this. And we got Disturbed, Stricken. We have a, what is that, a calculator? I don't even know. Very nice deck. We, it's a standard deck. And then we have his side deck. One Chaos Hunter, one Lancia, that one Jinzo. One, one, one. First place, boom. The Thunder's Light, it could possibly be worth it to play Light Imprisoning Mirror just for the Thunder. This is really hurtful for the Noble Knights. It makes me feel sad for Noble Knights. Boom. I. This is a different deck. This is the other Weather Painter deck that got top four. Very good. Looking good. And then we have Ritual B still best deck. Wait, what? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, we have Despacito, super standard. The Raigekis are non-standard, playing them in addition to the Karma Cuts. Very nice. Balance. Love me some Noble Nuts. That is the extra deck. We got Cyber Style with Fusion Substitute. Intradasting. Look at this. Looking good. This looks quite similar to what we played as Optimal Blue Eyes. It is more than 20 cards. Here is some Fire Reload 20 card deck with a bad aim. We got Goki. Probably Endless Trap Hell. That's what I'm thinking since there's so many traps and it's not set up for balance. Ooh, I see all of the Noble Knights that did well today are playing Rageki Break. OGTDs. This is a lovely 30 card deck. We got double BB Veil, one Sphere Kribo. Now we have Alternative Evolution Blue Eyes. This looks much more closer to what we played. Stromberg, it was 24 cards, not 30. Okay, w whatever, I'm tired and that, that deck list was long gated, not uh, wide. Stromberg equal dead Pepe hands. So he's playing some Noble Nuts, okay. Fire King, Nine Tailed Fox. This, I think, Drizzle's deck. He names his deck this all the time. Full blank mitt. I don't know what that means. All right. Looking good. It's probably been looking the same way for a while. Volcanic Invoked Neos. So let's move on. That's the extra deck. This is, at the moment, the best way, the way to play Dark Magician, No Rod, Triple Navigate, Double Dark Illusion, Activate a Spell or Trap in your opponent's turn, Summon, Trigger the Circle. Whoa, how did you get in here? Are you topped? What? Level Reduction Black Wings. Level Reduction Black Wings, they're like, what? Weather Painter, what? What do you mean, Weather Painter? You what, Painter? You pop Painter. That is the winning deck. Let's move on. Peak Performance, Black Wings. Amano. Wow. Stop the Battling Boxer Veil. Stop the Kiteroid. Stop the Sphere Kribo. And we got the Maya Yakashi. I did not expect this. <laughs> There's a head judging. Tell me again the head judging is not a problem. Invoked Neos. Hey, we got some magnets. Thick. Magnets, but with balance, so he's guaranteed a monster, not guaranteed a spell, not guaranteed a trap. He's just guaranteed monsters. Doom Cal, Doom Cal, with no synergy with the Doom Cal, just a Doom Cal. That's where we're at in Duel Links. Nice. Okay, Invoked Roids. Nasty. With the Sangin plays, pop your Sangin, search for an Invoker. That is fun. It was a prize card. Yeah, oh my. It was so expensive. Fire King. Yes, super clean. That is clean. Didn't I say that he ran out of monsters in his duel? Remember? He ran out of monsters. 
He did. An another, another dark, ma two dark magicians. There's two dark magicians. I gotta yoink both of them. Which one's better? Which crafters? What is that? That's restart. Who start? Restart. Wait, that was part of the deck. Okay, uh, the traps were cut off. Or no, wait, is this the side? The side or extra? Uh, I think that's part of the deck. That's part of the deck. Yeah, part of the deck. It was cut off. We got the Stratos heroes invoked. Nice. More invoked. Well, we got invoked Neos with a Stratos instead of a Winda. Nice. What? Oh my, are you playing a Reactor Dragon to literally summon with your super team buddy for us tonight? And that is the full deck type breakdown plus the top 32. Check it on the website if you want to look at more stuff, more side decks, anything I missed. Loving it.